Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday and I've got another project for you today. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com. You'll find free sewing and crafting patterns and links to even more sewing and crafting tutorials. If you're a cruiser, I've got you covered there too. Check out my cruising resources section. You'll find cruise tips, trip reports, port and ship specific articles, and plenty of photos. Now let's get this project started. For this project you will need yarn, twine, a string, I'm using cotton crocheting thread. You'll need some white glue. You'll need some water some type of cellophane, a bowl, a sponge possibly, some tape, and the template downloaded from debsdays.com. You'll need to cut out two templates but you only need to print one and something to protect your surface. You can find the supply lists and the template at Debs Days. I've added a direct link in the description right below this video. First we need to cut out our template. Like I said, we need to cut two of them. We're going to place the two templates together to make it into one larger template. I like placing tape on both sides to make it a little more sturdy. It's going to be important for our cone to be sturdy as we're wrapping. I've used cardstock for mine. I would recommend something thick like that, not regular paper. Now we need to cover our cone. Like I said, we need some kind of cellophane. I don't have cellophane, but I do have a product similar. And then we need to protect our work surface and protect our bowl. So I've got that covered too. Go ahead and add a glob of glue to the bowl and some water as well. Now for a project like this, I'm going to go about a one to one, one part glue, one part water, or a two to one two part glue, one part water. I'm going to go ahead and mix that together. Now by looking at that, I know it's a little bit thin for what I need it for, so I'm going to add a little bit more glue to it. If it looks too thin for you, add more glue. If it looks too thick, add more water. Then I'm going to go ahead and use this mixture to cover our cone just for a little bit till I get the string started. And then I'm going to just start wrapping it around the cone. I just wrap it randomly and I just keep going. Now I could use my brush to go ahead and cover this right now, but I'm going to go ahead and get it started a little bit more before I add any of the glue mixture. I have it about covered. I think I'm going to go a little bit more, so I'm going to keep wrapping. When I have it where I want it, then I'm going to add the glue mixture. Now you don't really want to paint it on. If you pull it too hard, it's going to make your string shift. So I mostly just dab the glue. You need a lot of it on there. It helps to stick your hand in the cone too, to help the cone keep its shape. When it's completely covered, Go ahead and place it back on over your bowl to dry. It's going to take a good day to dry. I come back ever so often and I turn it so it doesn't stick to anything. Now if you decide to use yarn for this project, you're going to have to do it a little bit differently. You'll need to put your mixture in the bowl and then place the yarn in the bowl. And then as you're using it on your cone, you'll have to pull it out and kind of pull some of the glue off of it. With something thick like yarn, you can't just use your brush. When it's dry and hardened, we need to get the cone out of there. Very carefully work your way around the cone with your hand inside the tree and pull it away from the sides. Turn it as you go. Now you could add sequins or buttons or any other kind of decorations you'd like to the outside, but I'm kind of a minimalist, so I'm going to leave it as is. If you'd like to see more projects like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stop by the blog at debsdays.com. 
you'll find free patterns, supply lists, and links to even more sewing and crafting tutorials. See you next time with another project. Bye.